Hi, my name is Sonika Chopra. I'm a life coach and a workshop leader. And this happiness coach has been sharing a video every single day for the last 15 days, just so I can show you how I am getting through my days of quarantine without hopefully giving in to negativity. Today, I'm on day 16, video 16. So our building society has decided to do a complete lockdown which means that I can't even step down into the garden today. So when I woke up today, the fact that I can't go down even for a walk hit me. And uh, for the first time in 16 days, I'm feeling a little restricted. I'm also feeling a little distance from some of the people that I love. Normally I can sit in a car and go meet them or book a ticket and go fly and see them. But for the first time today, I realized that I can't for a bit. So yeah, I'm feeling a little restricted and a little distant. <laughs> Did you know that dancing and Surya Namaskars when done together can be a literal pain in the ass? They can. So there's a lot of work uh, for my brand The Happy Path which I kept postponing for doing another day. And I guess uh, that another day has finally arrived. So today a lot of decluttering. For my brand wish me luck i'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> let's think about our life as it was a month ago we had all the freedom on the planet but uh, were we happy were you absolutely and fantastically happy about having everything that you ever wanted uh, the fact of the matter is the only thing that's lost from our life today is freedom and yet we're not happy so if we weren't completely happy then and we weren't completely happy now then I think it's a good time to sit back and reflect what is going wrong. As long as we have food on the table and a roof over our heads and are safely sitting in the comfort of our homes, I don't think we have any reason to use the words testing times, trying times, difficult times, crazy times. I suggest we start using the words unique times, unprecedented times, memorable times in the making. It'll just change something within us and uh, that's a good change, I can assure you. Video calling. I'm so grateful for that. I remember when we were kids, my brother and I, we used to play a game and he used to say, you know, I'm going to have a telephone through which I can actually see your face and I would laugh out loud. How can that ever happen? And now when it happens, uh, my brother lives in Canada and I can still see him and his kids. It's lovely at least. You stay connected and you don't feel that much of a distance. If our happiness is dependent on something or somebody, we'll never really totally have it. Because remember, even the most content of people have desires. During the days of quarantine, what are the kind of jokes that are actually allowed? Inside jokes. <laughs> I'm as affected by the quarantine and the lockdown as anybody else on the planet. But the very fact that I can actually genuinely laugh uh, about the situation means that it's possible to do it for anybody. If I can do it, anyone on the planet can do it. Let's choose to just keep our spirits high. Uh, let's choose not to get sucked into the negativity and let's choose to continue to say thank you for everything that's going right for us, even now, even at home, even when we have nothing under control. If you think my effort of making one video every single day is worth it, give a thumbs up to my video. And if you genuinely think it could be a good exercise to watch a video every single day, then subscribe to my channel these days for daily videos. And if you think this video could help anybody else, please share it. And if you don't do any of these things, don't worry. I still wish you lots of love, laughter, happiness, good times, peaceful times, but most of all, excellent physical and mental health. God bless.